Hey, Fanny Bash. It's the 13th of May, 2019. And I'll be honest with you, I have not wanted to be on the internet, on the computer, or making videos at all whatsoever for several days now. Uh, but when something is shown to me, uh, I have to show it. And so this is a very interesting little set of numbers and circumstances that I got to share with you here. Uh, and it pertains to the 14th, the 71st year beginning uh, tomorrow. And this article came out a few days ago on the 8th. And there, it's talking about the memory of this 23,741 of Israel's fallen. Okay. Now. First, I'm going to give you some numbers here. The 23 will use the Strong's Concordance, and I will show you what these, these numbers actually mean. 23 is the Father of Gathering. Okay, keep that in mind. Father of Gathering. And the 741 is extremely interesting. This is what really prompted me to look at this closer. Okay. The 741 is the altar of the temple. Okay, straight up, the altar of the temple. Now, this made me look back a little bit to last year, last December, uh, to Hanukkah, when they had a miracle ingathering, it was referred to, uh, a special Hanukkah dedication of third temple altar. And they invited all the 70 nations to join in. Okay. This was on December 10th of last year, the last day of Hanukkah. So what I do is I go back to December 10th of last year and to the 14th. And I get 155 days. Now keep that in mind, 155 days. Because the year before this on Hanukkah in 2017... They dedicated and recreated the burning of the incense. The altar of incense was, uh, let's say, rolled out on the last day of Hanukkah 2017, which fell on Tuesday, the 19th of December. We go back to the 19th of December 2017. We get 511 days to May 14th. 155, 511. What do you think the chances of this being the case here? That it be an exact 666. All of them pertaining to the altars of the temple. And this happens to be the exact number for the altar of the temple. Okay. So the next thing I was led to do was literally go back in time. 23,741 days. And this is kind of mind-blowing because I think the odds of this are slim to none. But nonetheless, there it is. May 14th, 1954. Now, there were a lot of things going on then, just like there are now. But one of the primary things that was going on was there was a coup d'etat in Iran. And... Uh, Mosaddegh was overthrown in 53, and when the new guy, Zahedi, took over, and the pro-Shah government was put in place. And way back then is a big, huge reason as to why we're seeing the problems we see now with Iran. And let's not forget the Iran hostage situation back in 1979, okay, 40 years ago this year where they had 52 hostages for 444 days, equaling one year, two months, two weeks, and two days. Very, very interesting, don't you think? But that's what was going on in 1954. But another thing that was going on in 1954, which is uh, mainly the reason why I'm even putting this video up, on the same day, technically, uh, the United States was performing atmospheric nuclear tests at Enwetak, which is also known as Bikini Atoll, which consists of 23 islands, ironically enough, 23,000 days ago. Now, the number of detonations they did, this is all documented, you guys. 
They did 23 detonations during this operation at the 23 Bikini Atoll Islands. Go figure that one out, okay? So, what do we got here? The altar of the temple. The altar of the temple. Everywhere we go, right? The 666. All of this stuff. The 23741. And I'm telling you, this... This is one of those things that just continues on and on and on. But, I mean, I can only deal with so much. And and remember last time I was talking to you guys, I was showing you how the sunrise on the 14th lines up perfectly to complete the unfinished pentagram in Washington, D.C. If we set our, set our gauge on Washington Circle, I showed you that. Well, check this out. I got this set to sunset on May 13th tonight at sunset in Washington, D.C. And this is just crazy. If we center our gauge on the White House, straight up New York Avenue is the sunrise and straight down Pennsylvania Avenue is the sunset. And don't forget, Pennsylvania Avenue continues right down to the Capitol building. Where the dome is and the owl and all that fun stuff that we see there, right? Straight from the White House. I find that to be incredibly interesting, to say the least. That that lines up perfectly at 20... Look, look at this. Tomorrow night sunset and the sun sets at 20-12-12 in Washington, D.C. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know how else to put it. This is telling me that we're on the precipice of amazingly disrupting things happening, okay? To those in Christ, hallelujah. This is a clear indication that we are ending this period in this world where we don't belong. But I'll tell you what, if you're not in Christ, this is not going to bode well for you. The things we're seeing occurring are only going to get exponentially worse. And you will not have the wherewithal to contemplate what I'm telling you. And that is, you need a Jesus Christ to be cleansed by the blood, his atoning, perfect blood. And this, this is just the only way you'll have any chance whatsoever. This is just the only way I know how to put it. Because this stuff is coming. And I believe it relates directly to a nuclear uh, situation. There's way, way, way too many things that have just been put right before me that, as usual, I can only give you what I understand. But this cannot be dismissed. It just simply can't. The, the altars, the, the it, it's crazy. It really, truly is. Think about this. The Father of Gathering, the 23 on top of it all. I even went as far as to make a small little... Uh, diagram or a little text document on some of this stuff it, it just got to be so crazy i mean the, the relations the the gathering the father of gathering when jesus is talking in matthew 23 oh jerusalem how i've wanted to gather you like chicks you know i mean the altar uh the 70 nations is the twenty-three thousand levites who were responsible for the altar that came out of the wilderness into the promised land. 23 of them, exactly. Numbers 26, 62. The 26, Aaron, the Levite priest, was 123 years old when he died. In Daniel 8:14, the 2300 days, the sacrifice, the sanctuary, all this stuff is ridiculous. And the 23,000 that were destroyed in the wilderness in one day. 1 Corinthians 10.8 I mean, this is just really crazy stuff, you guys. The 2346, this is like the separation, the harvest, if you will. This is how I see this, you guys. It just is. 46. Remember what Jesus said about the temple that took 46 years to build. 70 A.D. destroyed, and Israel is ending their 70th birthday. The fig tree generation. This is what we're looking at. It's just there, and I, it's how I see it. So I must give it to you. So I'm going to link everything. 
there's no way we can get around that that those two events on Hanukkah for two years in a row add up to 666 seriously and this number exactly takes us back to the very day that they're detonating these nukes and you know for a fact that they're doing this stuff purely 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 to garner the power of God and this is all satanic driven all satanic knowledge given to them so they put an obelisk at ground zero of the first ever nuclear detonation isn't that special it's unbelievable you guys it really is Truman dropped a fire bombs on all these people this is insane to me but this is what it's spelling out so you better be in Christ is all I got to say because things are about to get real praise God all glory to God thank you Jesus I hope you know him I truly do peace and grace to y'all many fish finally my brethren be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,